<clears throat> hey guys, I guess you can hear me now. We are back and live. I don't have a headphone today. Either. This is my bad hair day. I should probably wear a headphone because it makes my hair look a little better. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's uh, get started with today's uh, daily analysis. Okay, so interesting day. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing nobody would have thought what happened today would have happened. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go one by one our usual analysis nifty first so like i said yesterday right i i don't find any change from whatever we talked about yesterday I, in fact i'm a little bit more optimistic that the channel is about to break uh, so if you look at the mo movement today right it came back into this channel and it came tried to go above the previous all time high it showed resistance and it came and uh, oh, closed below. So today is a negative candle for sure. So what the, what is my verdict on the chart or what is my thought process on the chart? I'm not like a Supreme Court Chief Justice to give verdict and stuff. But the channel is indeed the background. Back into the channel with a uh, huge green. Back into the channel with a red candle. Sorry, that was yesterday's. Will it hold? For now it is holding. But today's price action is negative right let's just face it it is what it is right now let us look at something very very interesting on you know um option chain today is a day when you saw calls and puts both unwind from the bottom and you saw calls and puts both hand on the top right so this is typically people getting you know whacked out on the wrong side so all the people who's happily sold calls ran away after this some people added puts probably in the first half of the day. Now they are standing there. I don't know for how long. We saw massive addition at 15,900 and 16,000. 16,000 is the one true reality in life, if you ask me. Um, so I'm happy to. Actually, I squared off my 16,000 call today. I don't know why I squared off. I thought this morning I actually thought it was going to go above. So I squared off my 16,000 call. But regardless, right? 16,000 call was a good trade to hold on to. If you look at this option chain though, it's a very different story. There are no genuine supports on the put side and there are at least three big resistances on the call side. So option chain is actually suggesting me a very, very bearish overall picture for this expiry. Right? And if you look at the PCR, it was 1.1 yesterday, uh, but it fell to 0.9 today. So option chain, derivative action, you know, other than chart action is clearly negative. Now let us look at FII option and future data. FII option data, FII also I think today got confused. 30,000 calls added, 37,000 puts added, net negative. But this is not comprehensive negative, right? Some 8K difference, that's it. But in futures, they are positive. And in stocks, they are negative. So long term negative, short term futures positive, short term options negative. I mean, how confusing can get that get anyway? So very split this verdict even on SB, uh, FIIs. Positive futures, negative uh, stocks, slightly negative options. So what is my verdict? I yesterday said that my bias right is negative. Uh, I also said strangles might not be a way to go because there could be a breakout. I yesterday I remember I said that because of this entire uh, channel uh being you know really tested there's a chance of breakout so my yesterday's verdict was if you have 16,000, you can cash out because the premium has eroded uh so today's verdict is that it is back into the channel honestly like i know it's killing you i'm not saying anything for a long time just saying yeah yeah we'll wait and watch the problem is this right with this kind of a price action what do you really want to do because the downside risks are fairly comprehensive the moment it goes below this channel, we can see a downside all the way to 15400, which is the previous all time high. But if it holds, it can test this. But if today you had longed this without consolidation, expecting that boss, ye upar jayega, right? Uh, it would have been a very negative price action day for you. In fact, look at it this way, right? Today it opened up and it fell back. And now it is at the 50 hourly and 100 hourly moving average. So yesterday we were again mentioning this, right? Uh, yesterday it broke the 100 hourly moving average. And it actually kind of tested the 50-day moving average. 
today there was a gap and it fell back to the moving averages now the problem is if this cracks this cracks i'll i'll put the you know possibility of a break of this channel at a fairly high number so another thing i can do potentially is uh, i can draw it like this this is a smaller channel so if i were to believe this channel right this channel has kind of already broken if this is my channel this early channel this tiny early channel i am drawing right so this early channel getting taken out but it was taken out earlier it went back into the channel is a sign of negativity for me for sure if i were to look at this slightly bigger channel also uh, the bottom of that is around 15650 my problem is that too many downside possibilities on break of which we can see proper lower lows and lower highs right so i don't want to be long at this point i would want to be long if this thing convincingly breaks so why don't i want to be long here because the upside is only still the bottom top of this channel also there is a resistance at the previous all time high uh, why would i want to be long only if it breaks because then it is again unknown territory why don't i want to short here because there is a support here but if this channel breaks you can see reasonable downside in fact i would even say that shorting here with a tight stop loss probably is a better trade than longing here for the break of this channel simply because this is testing the downside way too often and derivative data is indicating negativity so my bias is uh, negative right if i had to if somebody puts a gun on my head and say boss ek trade ko tere ko lena hi padega i'll say ki boss you know what i'll take a shot right but that is just me uh, so ideally the right thing to do is don't do anything till channel breaks nifty because today this morning right if you had went long chumma you would have had stop loss if you had gone short you don't know really what is happening uh, tomorrow this is not even a great place to sell a strangle perhaps upside strangle of 16000 is good but in the downside right the break even is just 1% away so if you sold a 15600 put also 1% nifty move and your put is gone so why do you want to take chances like that right and the problem with selling a 15500 put is that if this channel is gone it's only a matter of time before that also breaks not a nice time in narrow it is never good to sell options for strangles long story short so somebody was telling me in the youtube channel ki yaar aap log kuch bolte nahi ho now the problem is yeah that is true i don't really say anything because you know uh that so somebody asked okay so nifty right like like brain waves if you so brain waves ask me nifty bullish or bearish tomorrow if you put a gun on my head i will load for bearish right i if you put a gun on my head till now i'll say ki boss i want to watch the channel right but if you put a gun on my head i'll absolutely absolutely short right now uh, do i give priority to charts or option chain or both i mean it really depends sometimes some signal is strong in some think some signal is stronger in some other thing uh, but anyway uh, we'll move to bank nifty bank nifty is very interesting because yesterday we had said that there is a channel getting formed here and it is testing the top of the channel now interestingly right if you and we also said ki this level right this vertical line will act as a resistance so yesterday when i said that i did not have hopes <laughs> it'll actually play out that way <laughs> but today it opened it could not close above this vertical right there was huge rejection and it started coming down okay so now i want to show you something else okay this is fairly interesting technically technically i can draw this so in the short term i one might even argue that this channel has become history which channel this channel and maybe it is resuming a downward trend because the thing is this right if yesterday this channel actually held you i mean this upward trending channel so this was a bullish hammer this was a bullish harami sorry bullish engulfing this was a 100 dma so a bullish engulfing formed on a 100 dma confirmed by a bullish engulfing should have really done better than this what happened it just went above took the first resistance and came back right the price action was so weak it could not sustain and now it is at the bottom of this channel again now this i would really really watch 
for the simple reason that the moment it gives any sort of consolidation below this line, it's a clear shot. In fact, I would even say it is a clear shot even otherwise because, you know, for fun, not for any real reason, I actually shorted a bag nifty future here. Uh, I should have shot it probably at a very higher level, but you know, when the channel looked like it was getting taken out, I did short one and you can see my mistake today. I actually squared off my USD INR position, which I had initiated at 72.80 today. I should have really held it because after I squared off, it went up another 20 pesos. So I'm going to curse myself for this. But anyway, so if you are, so like I said, right, I don't want to give a direction saying that, um, you know, I think Bank Nifty is going to crack, but if what I do is a reflection of my beliefs, my belief is that Bank Nifty looks really, really weak at this point. So there is the support 100 DMA, there is the support 50 DMA, but this vertical line and this downward trending channel, perhaps it's too early to say if the channel is there or not, but it looks like something is in the formation. And I would say that the downside risk of Bank Nifty is more. Now let us take a step back. If Bank Nifty goes down, the possibility of Nifty going up is fairly low. Also today's USD INR, my other, you know, so we had talked about yesterday that if you get USD INR at the confluence of uh, 100 DMA and 50 DMA, uh, it is a good place to go long, right? Because so somebody was asking, so when can I go long USD INR again? So, and I had said that if you find a reversal candle, which is this Harabi, and if you also see a price action support zone, which is this uh, uh, 150 DMA confluence. And I had said that if you find price action there, which is confirmed by today's uh, green candle, I had said that, you know, it's a very good idea. If all three of these come together, it's not a bad idea to buy dollars. So ideally, right, you should have bought the dollar here uh, and it would have been a nice entry. And it looks like dollar has upside left. So don't ask me why I squared off today's dollar. That was <laughs> like a stupid mistake. Middle of the day. I, I don't even know what I was thinking, but you know, when when Nifty went up really high and it was testing this level, I thought, here, show here, why do you want? So it was, you could even say I kind of did a trailing because my entry was somewhere over. I thought, you know what, let's not get greedy. And yeah, it's one of those places where you, but yeah, if dollar gives me another entry somewhere in this level again, I'll hopefully try to enter. But the important point is this, right? Dollar has actually crossed. Dollar is actually at an all time high. I mean, all time high as in, uh, you know, a, a, a near term high. Right. It has really strong, strongly closed, closed very strongly. It is at the high of the since May 10th. It has never gone this high. It's a strong closing. It looks like dollar still has upside. Why? Because there's a strong green candle. It tried to negate with this red candle. But again, we saw reversal candle Harami. Then we again saw 150 DM mega confluence. We saw strong price action, which is this green candle. And look at the volumes, right? All volumes in the last few days on dollar are significantly higher than before. So dollars volume has spiked. So it's a volume breakout. Uh, it has consolidated with big volumes. It has consolidated above support with a reversal uh, signal Harami. And it has also given a follow up signal. So all of this is hinting a strong dollar. So uh, bias bearish on Nifty. Why? Because weak bank Nifty, strong dollar, slightly negative derivative data, etc. Et uh, so uh, Let me see if there are any questions coming. <laughs> hey, by the way, our Adani played out, right? Adani went to 760. That was pretty nice. So somebody had asked on something about Adani. And, you know, so our view was that it can come here, bullish engulfing. It can go further if it breaks here. And we said if it breaks the 100 DMA, it can go all the way to the base of this uh, bullish hammer candle which is uh, also the 50 DMA. So, I mean, that played out that way. I hope whoever asked this question made money on that. Uh, so, my display is hazy here. I actually need to get a Geo SIM. This Vodafone SIM is like horrible and because of work from home and all, we don't have. Uh, anyway, so somebody is asking Hindi. Here, we did a Hindi segment, same channel sometime back. Uh, Arjun is asking why are premiums so low, very low IVP and 
close to expiry yeah but if it cracks right you will see high premiums again but at that time it is not the time to buy sell options it's the time to uh you know, buy options so all right so this is our analysis in a nutshell there are downside risks to nifty why because bank nifty looks weak dollar looks strong nifty derivative data is looking kind of weak the channel could just break volume profile so actually volume profile is also something we should look at hmm volume profile is not looking good at all so volume profile is also acting like a resistance so all these put together my bias is negative i'll go positive on nifty if it breaks this level which is the 15901 or whichever is the previous all time high but i would still be thoda subdued simply because there's this channel here but as of now uh, if you are on the long side of the market you have to be very cautious if you are on the short side of the market it's a slightly better question i could be wrong you know in my humble opinion so so yeah so our uh, too long did not read is that our bias is negative but we would really really love to trade our bias with a confirmation when this channel breaks rather than trade it uh, without a confirmation now that the channel is not broken so that was our analysis for today so as usual these are not investment recommendations or trading recommendations or anything like that uh, please don't trade because somebody youtube asks you to trade probably here the deal with the broker which gives him the cut of the revenue which we don't so sorry uh, so uh, what else uh, please do your own due, due diligence if you don't trade it's perfectly fine market is always there it always gives opportunity there's always a trend somewhere which you can capture the important point is that when we really find a good trade when we are very sure about that trade we go all in with a fairly good uh, amount of capital uh, so all right guys uh, uh, yeah fajar this is the usual blah 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 i'll try to do it like mutual fund investments are subject to market risk and please read off our document carefully before investing <laughs> so so thanks again for joining guys uh, you guys have a great day uh, trading tomorrow and keep your capital safe bye Are you from Karnataka? No, man. I'm from Kerala, but I've lived in Bombay and Karnataka for practically all of my life. Anyway, that's something about me. Thanks for watching again. Bye.